Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Music session Thursday, one with Charlie. Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Each day different and T. every day new. Hello and welcome to the first session of Music with Charlie. So in these sessions we're going to have lots of fun. There's going to be stories, there's going to be songs, there's going to be instruments and there's going to be dances. So we're going to have lots of fun. Now, those of you who've done music with me before know that I have a special bag. And should we see what's in my special bag today? <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Now, can anybody remember what this is? It's a treble clef. Can you say treble clef? Try again, treble clef. Good job. Now. A treble clef is really important because it goes at the start of every piece of music. A treble clef. Tiny talk. Drink. Drink. I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the tea is boiling, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Tiny talk. Eat. Eat. Five currant buns. Five currant buns in a baker's shop. Brown and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came a lion with a penny one day. He brought a currant bun and he took it away. Four currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came a dog with a penny one day. He brought a currant bun and he took it away. Three currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came a cat with a penny one day. She brought a currant bun and she took it away. Two currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came a bird with a penny one day. She brought a currant bun and she took it away. One currant bun in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came a horse with a penny one day. He brought a currant bun and he took it away. Have you ever had an unusual guest for tea? Our special story today is... The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Ring! Look at them having tea. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because he isn't it the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Who do you think's going to be at the door? I know. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Look, a tiger's having tea. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them up in one big mouthful. Oh. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. She's passing him the chocolate buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, 
Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the jug and all the tea in the teapot. <gasps> wow, he's a very hungry and thirsty tiger. Let's see what happens next. And then he looked round the kitchen to see what else he could find. He still wants more food. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Wow, there really is nothing left. Then he said, Thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Oh no, what are they going to do? And Daddy won't believe that a tiger's come, will they? I mean, if someone said that a tiger had come to tea in their house, I wouldn't believe them. Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. Oh no. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go out for dinner to the cafe. So they went in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. Look, doesn't that little cat look a bit like a tiger? And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. Ooh, yummy. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they brought lots more things to eat. And they also brought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should ever come to tea again. But he never did. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Look, he's blowing a little horn. Wow, what an amazing story. Imagine having a tiger come to tea. I think my favourite bit was when the tiger drank all the water in the tap because that's so much water, it's amazing. Washy, washy, clean, scrub, scrub. So you know how the tiger played a horn at the end of today's story? Well, I have my horn here, but it's a bit different. It's a bit bigger. This is my E flat tenor horn. Can you say E flat tenor horn? E flat tenor horn. Good job. Now, this is part of the brass instrument family. Can you say brass? Brass. And it's made out of metal. Listen. So, to play this instrument, I need to blow a raspberry. Can you blow a raspberry? Good job. Okay, so, we also have keys on this instrument. See, one, two, three. Now, if I press these keys in different combinations, it makes different notes. Should I have a go? Now look at my fingers as I play. 
See? Using the keys made different notes. But I can also make different notes just by tightening my lips. So, for low notes, I have loose lips. And for high notes, I have really tight lips. See, I'll show you. Watch, I don't move my fingers. Good job for watching. Now, also you'll notice I don't puff my cheeks, so I don't go... Because we need to make sure that our cheeks stay in. And that is my E-flat tenor horn. I'm going to blow you away now. See you next time.